Welcome back to today's build. I'll be your guide to this wonderful game we all love. Let's get started. Today's tech might just convince you to destroy enemy food tokens. His name is Halson Emerald Archdruid, and this is Little Wooden Ducks. Halson is a 2-4 four for 4 mana that can turn any of our tokens into 4-4 four four beaters. This ability is doing the most when it targets the tokens with the least power, so we want our tokens to be as small as possible. Since this effect applies in addition to its other types, any tokens that have abilities get to keep them, so we'll keep an eye out for anything special that we can weaponize. The version of this I like the most though uses artifact tokens. Just like how Transformers and Shorakai can dodge a lot of removal by only ever being creatures at certain times, we can eliminate one of the weaknesses of token decks by making sure that we can survive most board wipes with the resources in play. And if we ever have to rebuild, playing our commander puts us back online with the supply of tokens at the ready. That said, we can never transform more tokens than we have mana, so we'll also need to be ramping periodically. Veteran Soldier is easier to cast than either of these, which makes our early game more consistent. It always makes the same number of tokens and doesn't provide any additional burdens for our card slots. No matter which of these you choose, you'll need to protect Halson and have mana to use the ability. But since this background makes the tokens for us, we can free up more card slots for interaction and card draw. And if we ever have more tokens than we can power up, we can always not attack with Halson, or we can attack and selectively buff our tokens, turning them into removal pieces or making unblocked soldiers deal damage as bears, like a kind of bear ninjutsu. So, quick disclaimer, Halson only has 285 decks at all right now, and only 14 of them have Veteran Soldier as a background, so this data means a lot less than it normally might. But these cards still don't belong here. A big part of the appeal of this background is that you don't have to spend mana making new tokens. You can just transform the ones you would already make with Halson. And the less mana we spend making tokens, the more mana we have to do other things with. And Prava's buff is not worth 4 mana when these cards exist. Generous Gift, Beast Within, and Swords to Plowshares cost us parts of our advantage. Since we're winning through non-commander combat damage, every point of life matters, and giving our opponents more creatures only helps them block our swarm of bears better. We still need removal, but these cards are going to be doing a lot more for our strategy. Doubling Season, Kadira, and Queen All in All all amplify our token generation, but again, there's only so many tokens we can make use of before we see diminishing returns, and the investments of mana and money do not justify their inclusions. We'll still have token generators, but we want them to be doing other things as well, or else be a large burst of tokens to recover from setbacks. So what do our lands look like? This deck really doesn't need much from its lands besides basics. I've thrown in a gingerbread cabin, canopy vista, and colony garden, but that's all. Very affordable and very dependable. So what's our timeline? Turn 1, we can play out Wild Growth, Utopia Sprawl, or Avacyn's Pilgrim to get us some extra mileage later on. Turn 2 is our target for the Veteran Soldier. It won't do anything now, but getting it out of the way means we can spend mana on other things later. Turn 3 will play Return of the Wilds, Weirding Wood, or Blighted Burgeoning to ramp while putting a token into play. Turn 4 is our target for Halson. If we ramp and have tokens in play already, then we have enough mana to send in our first bear for 4 damage. Turn 5 we attack, powering up any tokens we want, preferably after blocks, and trying to leave open mana for interaction and protection. This is also a great turn for Harvest Season, since we have a lot of tapped creatures now. Turn 6 and beyond, we're slinging 20 plus damage each turn, and that can be scary for our opponents. Emerge unscathed, slip on the ring, and Bombadil's song can protect Halson while enabling him to attack safely into larger boards later. We'll be running these cards to protect the rest of our board, and discourage blocks on even, even our smaller creatures. Next we'll play Oran Frostfang, Toski, and Hunter's Insight to refuel our hand and draw into any of these crazy board wipes to clear the field and run wild with bears. This deck can bring a lot of power out very early and consistently. It's a little more reliant on the commander than I'd like, but it's got more than enough interaction to protect it and enough mana to redeploy if something goes wrong.
A very special thanks to all my amazing patrons. When I started this channel, I wanted to talk about deck building decisions with my videos, but in practice what ends up happening is that I talk for 30 minutes about all the nuance of a deck, which is longer than I'm comfortable with posting to YouTube. Here, patrons can request priority deck techs, access extended discussions on their favorite decks, in-depth guides on complex game actions, and more. So if you enjoy this content, consider becoming a patron today. One of the things my patrons have made possible is a special series of deck techs that I'm really excited to show off to you guys. When I finally get them all uploaded, I'll be giving away a special collection of altars and tokens that I've made, corresponding to each deck on the channel. For example, for the Merkle Lord of Bones deck, the prize is a set of double-faced altars of the most prominent cards in the deck, whose backsides are set in the constellation frame with updated text to show that they're acting as enchantments now. For every thousand views on each video, I'll increase the prize pool for that deck. All you have to do to be eligible to win is be subscribed to the channel. Consider supporting the channel today. If you like this video, here are some of the decks I'm working on next, so if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any, and check out the playlist in the top left for more. Thanks for watching!